Today we are diving into Divi's hottest and the latest feature that is Flexbox layout system. This incredible tool is here to make your design flexible, responsive and absolutely stunning on any device. Whether you are a pro designer or just getting started with WordPress, Flexbox in Divi 5 is about to change the way you create any WordPress website. So let's dive in and explore how it can supercharge your workflow. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DB Visual Builder. Now, if you want to deep dive in this topic and learn more about it, we have created a complete blog post. Once you finish this video, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check out the link in the video description and check out our blog post. I'm sure you will find it really helpful. Well, Flexbox or the Flexible Blocks layout is a CSS model that lets you arrange elements in row or columns, allowing them to flex, shrink or grow to fit any space perfectly. Forget the old school layout struggles. Flexbox makes designing dynamic, responsive websites a breeze with simple control for alignment, spacing and ordering. In DB5, it's your ticket to creating layouts that adapt effortlessly across desktop, tablet and phones. So ready to jump in? Using Flexbox in DB5 is as easy as it gets. Let's dive in in our DB5 Visual Builder and let me show you how it works. Alright, so here we are back in our DB5 Visual Builder and let me show you how you can use Flexbox layout in DB5. So right now we have this blank area and if we start by adding a new row, here you can see we have a lot of new pre-made row structures that you can start with. Now, of course, you can go ahead and start with a single column layout and then play around with all the Flexbox settings but not everyone is a designer so you have all these row structures just ready for you to use so all of these row structures are going to give you a quick start and once you click on this here maybe we want to add some text so let's start by adding some text and maybe we can duplicate this just like this and now in order to use the flexbox structure we need to click on our row then go to design and here we have the layout. If we click on this, we are using the layout style as flex. We can change it back to the block layout like the old one. But let's keep it on flex. And now we have an option for horizontal gap, which we can play around with. Or we also have vertical gap, which we can increase or decrease as per our design requirement. So let's keep it back on 60. And now the interesting part, our layout direction. In Flexbox, you can decide the direction of your columns or all the items inside your section. So right now, the layout direction is set as column, but we can change it to row like this. Or we can also play around with the row reverse or reverse column. All of our column got same text, so we won't be able to see that. But you can reverse the content in a row or in a column. After that, we also have content justification. So we can play around with keeping it center or align everything towards the end. Or we can have space between or we can have space around to keep everything in middle. Then we have an option to align items. That is, choose where we want to align all the items. Either we can choose on top, maybe in the center, at the bottom end, or we can stretch it out. Then we have a very important option that is layout wrapping. So we can click on wrap. So it again goes wrapped down because all the columns right now got 100% width. So we turn back it to no wrap. Now let's go ahead and take another example. Let's again start from scratch. And again, we are going to add a single column layout like this one. And we are going to add this blurb layout in this column and then duplicate these column here. So we now have these four blurb module. And let me just go ahead and quickly rename this so that we know which blurb module we are working on. All right. Now let's come back here in our section and we go to design. Then we go to layout. And we have already used the Flexbox layout here. And instead of column, we are going to choose row. 
So now all the blur modules in these columns are going to arrange in a single row. And we can play around with the justification. So we can keep everything in space evenly. And we are going to keep everything in center lined. And we are not going to add any wrapping. Now let's go down to sizing. And for the width, I'm going to select 80% width. And in order to align all these columns in the center, I'm going to choose section alignment as center. And now I can come back here in layout and then reduce the horizontal gap like this. Or we can also play around with the direction. So we can make the row as reverse. So our blurb title number four will be the first one and the title one will be the last one. And same we can do with column layout. Instead of title one in the first, we can make it reverse and make the title four as the first one. But let's come back to our normal row structure. And this is how it's going to look. Now, if you go ahead and click on any of these columns, we can go ahead and click on content and then click on change column structure. So if you want, we can play around with this column structure and we can create a new column here. So let's say we choose this one. So it's going to divide the same column into two. And now we can go ahead and maybe duplicate this one to create a new look. And if we come back here in our main row section, now we go back to design and inside our layout, we can play around with the align item. So we can keep everything on top. We can keep everything at the bottom. So we can use any layout as we want. If we click on wrap, this is how the structure is going to look because our first row is divided into two columns. So it took the first one as 50% and the second one as 50%. Now, if we go ahead and click on this one and maybe change the column layout again to maybe like this one and then duplicate this column. So it's going to add structure like this. If you go to our column settings, we go to design and in sizing, we can keep column as three fourth like this, or maybe we can choose any other structure like this one, which is not going to look good, or maybe like this one, or like this one. So we can play around with our structure in this Flexbox layout. If we come back here in our main row and layout, let's come back to no wrap. And this is how our structure is going to look. Now let's align everything on the top. So this is how it's going to look. Now let me just get rid of this second column from here and go to settings in design. And again, in sizing, I'm going to make it hundred percent. So it's back to its normal sizing. Now, this is just a quick overview of how you can use the Flexbox layout and the possibilities are endless and we are going to cover some more in our future videos. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Now, DV5 takes Flexbox to the next level by baking it right into its core. So say goodbye to the outdated systems like speciality or full width sections. Flexbox replaces them with a modern streamlined approach. This integration means you can build intricate nested layouts without touching a single line of code. It's all about giving you more power and flexibility to create website that looks amazing and perform like a dream. Now let's talk about the upgrade from DV4 to DV5. DV4 grid system worked, but it has its limits. Think rigid columns and tricky mobile reordering that often mean duplicate sections or wrestling with CSS. DB5's Flexbox system blows those limitations out of the water. It's smoother, more flexible and ready to handle whatever you throw at it. It's the future of Divi and it's here to make your design life so much easier. Now let's get into the juicy stuff. What makes DB5's Flexbox layout system so awesome? And here are the standout features that will have you designing like a pro. Number one, any layout, no limit. 
With Flexbox in DB5, your creativity knows no bounds. You can craft any layout you dream up. Unique grids, custom arrangements, you name it. And all thanks to customizable responsive breakpoints, your designs will shine on every device. Tweak module placements and styling for desktop, tablet or phones with total precision. It's all about building stunning layouts without being boxed in. Number 2. Advanced Positioning and Alignment Positioning and alignment is like a piece of cake now. Flexbox Justify Content and Align Items Control let you place elements exactly where you want them. Center things vertically, spread them out evenly or push them to the edges. All with a few clicks. Plus, DV5 fixes DV4's mobile stacking headache with custom column reordering. Rearranging your layout to mobile without duplicating anything. It's a pure design bliss. Number 3. Enhance control over spacing and wrapping. Spacing and wrapping are a new snap with Flexbox. The sizing tab gives you options like grow to fill or shrink to fit. So you can control how elements behave in any space. Layout wrapping ensures your design adapts to its container. No overflow or weird gaps. Your layout stays clean and responsive no matter what the screen size. Next is integration with other DV5 features. Now Flexbox doesn't work alone. It teams up with DV5's other awesome features. Nested rows, module groups let you build complex designs by managing elements as units. It's also prepared for the upcoming loop builder, perfect for dynamic content like block grids. And when paired with interactions, Flexbox brings pop-up toggles and scroll effects to life. DV5's Flexbox is a massive leap from DV4's block-based design. Blocks are fine, but they stacked rigidly and needed workarounds for adjustments. But on the other hand, Flexbox hands you rinse align, space and render content with ease across any device. It's a cleaner, smarter way to design a website. So there you have it. DV5 Flexbox Layout System is your secret weapon for crafting flexible, responsive website that will wow your visitors. With limitless layout, intuitive control and top-notch performance, it's a game changer for any web designer. So ready to try it out? Go ahead and grab DV5 Public Alpha today and start building your next masterpiece. Join our community and share your feedback and let's make Divi even better together. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more Divi and WordPress updates, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.